Alrighty then, uh, this morning this is a uh, quick rundown on a power supply that I recently got off of eBay. Um, I'll give you all the information I can on it. There's not much uh, useful information on the web, on the uh, seller's site. Uh, I was not able to find any information or even a manufacturer, data sheets or anything. Um, but I'll tell you what I do know. Uh, for one, first off, it is a marked as ACDC S-720-12. This is a 12 volt uh, 60 amps DC power supply switching mode. Um, uh, the particular seller I got this from it took about five weeks to get here. Um, and uh, it wasn't very well packaged it was basically wrapped in a single layer of bubble wrap in a Tyvek envelope um, and so when I got it I had to straighten out these two tabs this as you can see is bent so but there are some pluses to this um, Oh, you see I have a modification in here. I The fan is powered directly off the same bus as the, the output DC comes off of. And so what that means is when you change the voltage with this little reg, uh, voltage uh, adjustment pot, the fan voltage goes up. And so what I did was, I was going to put originally a, uh, a dropping resistor because this thing can go as high as 14 volts and as low as, it can go lower than 10. Uh, this is one of the most adjustable power supplies that I've seen. Most of them only, you can only adjust them 3 to 5 percent. This one I was able to adjust it all the way down to 10. I stopped even though it, uh, the pot seemed like it would go further. Uh, but when I adjusted it up, it only went up to 14 volts. Um, I installed this uh, little voltage regulator. It's just a adjustable 1.5 amp voltage regulator. I set it so that at its maximum voltage, this only is about 12 volts or 12.5 uh, volts, and then it goes down to about 12 volts. Uh, it's not marked on the outside. There's a switch internally for 110 and 220. Um, initially, when I got it, it was set to 220, and it didn't didn't work. When I opened it up, I found the switch. Most of the power supplies you order, there's a hole for the, the switch, but for some reason, this one doesn't have it. Um, the first thing I did before I turned it on was I opened it up and made sure that no components were touching, that all the uh, capacitors were standing up and the transistors and any resistors like this uh, were spaced so that airflow would cool them. Um, just making sure that there was no short circuits of any kind. Uh, I have opened up this stuff and found things touching that shouldn't. This is hot glued to a space on the board where there was nothing else. It was just a 
empty spot and it just gets a little bit of airflow. Um, it uses a standard power cord, hot, neutral, and ground, or as it's marked on the case, line, neutral, and ground. The rest of these are all 12 volt outputs. Voltage adjustment is done with this pot and a little green power light. Um, anyways, um, that's it. I, I don't have anything more to say about it because there's I don't have any data for it. Um, there you go.